There we go. It went purple. I didn't know if that was recording properly. For some reason my FPS thing went purple. Rather than red. Ooh. That could have just went very, very badly. Whoa. Okay, right, so in the last episode, you saw a flying car, me crash into a wall, and that's about it. In this episode, we're actually going to talk about something interesting. Well, maybe not so interesting. On screen right around now, you will see a, um, a group photo of me at my St. John leadership course. Um, with St. John Ambulance. Uh, we had a weekend last weekend over in Oxenwood Outdoor Education Centre uh, where we went on a... we, we kind of did a course for leadership which basically means that we... now I've got leadership one I can become an NCO at my cadet unit which is a non-commissioned officer which basically means I can become corporal sergeant corporal or sergeant um, within my unit and this is St. John so it's not like army cadets it's not all that crappy shit um, it's St. John ambulance which is an awesome thing we do make a difference in case you didn't realize um, and yeah so some of the things we we really I made a load of new friends like really good friends I hope to keep in contact with uh, with several of them a couple of uh, there's one or two that are going to be going to the river festival that I'll be meeting up with if I get time well that's going to be a challenge just to get the time to do it to go meet them what I'll probably more like be uh, my dead be more like is um, them walk around with me whilst I'm doing crap if I don't get the time properly so I'm gonna be busy all day on the river festival with that. but that work uh, that you can have a look on the vlogging channel and see uh, exactly what's going on over there um, the press release has just been sent out for the River Festival, so that should be in the Gazette and a few other local papers uh, pretty soon. And as always, the link will be in the description. This river festival is probably going to be one of the best, hopefully, because we've got a lot planned. There's a lot going to be going on. It's not going to be as good as the first one with all like the massive like uh, the uh, the the motorbikes and all that crap, but um, it's going to be still going to be pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, back to leadership, sorry. Um, we just, we did loads of team building exercises, learnt a few new games that we can take back to the unit, and just learnt a few of the skills that leadership needs, a leader needs. And as you know, I probably got most of those skills anyway, considering I own Techno Gaming. But it's it, they need to know that we know how to do it and know the skills and can then use those skills in a practical setting i think i've already proved myself to have used them in a practical setting especially literally the weekend i got uh, the monday i got back from it they uh, i ended up leading a session well leading um a game and I kind of hope to be running a subject next term if Colin will let me. So 
that will be interesting. Um, I'd, I'd love to do that. Oh shit, what's the speed limit? 50. Okay, didn't know there was traffic lights here. Yeah, Mom. This is going to be a tight one. Holy crap. There we go. Right. Back to it. We I met a load of new people. Um, and I hope to keep in contact with almost all of them. And I hope to see them all again on Leadership 2. If I'm not 18 by then. Um because I can only do it if I'm under 18. So, yeah. It will be good. Oh crap, I just thought three hours till sleepies, which means I'm gonna have two sleep breaks. When does this need to be there by? F within 36 hours. Might not have time for two sleep breaks. Let's just see when where the next station is. Uh, there's a sleep place there. Yeah, it'll probably be that one there. Which is just before we go on... Oh no, it's not even there. And then it's the long road. So we've still got... That until we get onto the long road into Russia and then pull off up there to the no, all the way up, even further there, up to the very north um place. So we're take we're delivering this to TNT. Oh god, given the Russians uh tank another tank. Or we're taking it back to them. Dunno. Who knows? Don't want to be seen as seen as racist, so let's just uh, pretend that never happened. Uh, yeah, it, it's uh, it being part of Saint John is an awesome thing. Like I love being a part of the organisation. Um, we get to do. We don't get as many um, as many duties as we any of us would like on within our unit. We would all love to get a few more duties in, but at the end of the day, it's not always possible. If people aren't using Saint John for their events, we as the cadets don't get the duties because how can we you know <laughs> how can we get a duty if the organization isn't getting a duty in that area although we do feel in Chippenham we do feel like we should have Castle Coombe because yeah, Caution have that at the moment Yet, we're closer. That should be our duty, not theirs. Not Caution's. You know, keep it local, guys. Come on. Assign it to us, not them. 
I know it's just always been Corsham, and I suppose the Corsham unit's probably been there longer. Hence, it's just not changed, but still. Alternate it or something, you know. We want a few more duties here over in Chippenham, dude. Organisation. St. John. Can you get the message, please? I'm just pulling over into here for a sleep. There we go. I don't know which way I'm going, I think I'm going straight ahead. Yes, I am. Cool. There we go. Yeah, basically, we just want St. John to get the message that we want a few more duties over in Chippenham. I know our unit's a little bit topsy-turvy at the moment, needing a new... Um, a new building and stuff, but, you know, we need a few duties to get our... to help us progress within the organisation, like get our 50 hours. But yeah, whatever, uh, it's whatever the St. John decide, you know. And I, I suppose they, I think they are trying now because, to be honest, this is the first leadership course that I've seen available within the past, like, three or four years. So, you know. At least in the Wiltshire area, anyway. So you know, it's whatever. That they must be trying again and starting to get the youth sorted out. You know, I I appreciate that. Thanks, Nita. But yeah. Ow! That was my thumb. That hurt. Hot air balloon! Oh, I've never seen this bridge before. Must be getting into un uncharted waters here, because I've never been over here. I don't think. Never seen this bridge, anyway. Oh, this is beautiful. It's actually quite well designed. I like it. At least my computer isn't lagging today. <laughs> well, I suppose I say that, and I've been rendering out videos all week, so... Some of which aren't going online, by the way. Uh, I've got probably one left. Actually, I need to do another vlog ready for Saturday, actually. I'm gonna try... Oh, shit. I am gonna try and get... A gaming out every other day, f at least throughout the summer, 
Gonna get a gaming video out every other day. And a vlog out every other day. And they're on the two different channels. So if you subscribe to both Kieran is Not Normal, link on screen at the end, and subscribe to this channel, then you'll be able to get the best of both. Um, and definitely, guys, go check out the Kieran is Not Normal. Give me some support by hitting the subscribe button. The more people I get subscribed, the better it is because I means that people can find me better as well so if you like this channel and subscribe to this one please please subscribe to my uh, my vlogging one as well Kieran is not normal because it would help me a lot um, and I will be doing regular videos on there some out and about some doing other things um, and yeah so that'll be interesting um, I was going to put out the Chippenham Folk Festival one, there's a few different reasons of why I'm not putting that out anymore because, well I'm not going to go into them, It ju I just don't want it affecting me or anyone else that is in the video. And I did lose some of my footage so I'm not going to bother with that one this year. That'll be out, I'll do a 2015 one next year and I'll make sure I get a bit more footage from different things bit like I'm gonna do the Rip Chip and River Festival on this year, I'm gonna get a proper camera and do a few things like that. So yeah, that'll be interesting. And if you are local to Chippenham, Wiltshire, anywhere, head down to the Chippenham River Festival if you can. It is an awesome festival, it's always shown to bring the community together it's always shown to be a really good festival and a good day out for children and adults like you get to there's a good few taster sessions out on the water so if if you do like any kind of like um water sports head down and you can see what it's all about and give give water sports a go give uh kayak and stuff a go Anyway guys, that'll probably end it'll probably end this video there. Sorry, I got a little bit hit the wrong button then. Um and I shall see you guys in a little bit. Oh fuck. Let's get out of this pickle first. Yep, I'm locked going forwards. Oh fuck, I'm going to have to go out in here and see if I'm going to hit that other vehicle. There we go. Anyway, guys, sorry about that. Um, I shall see you guys next time. Um, thanks for watching, and good night.